Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mars. In today's episode we're going to be going back to the Honda HRX476 to do a full service on it. Um, my mate Luke, he bought it in because it had no drive problem which you would have seen in the last video if you watched it. If not, go back to the previous video. It's in a, a nice, easy, quick fix on how to fix a drive on one of these mega expensive lawn mowers. Um, if this is your first time watching Mixed Mowers, hit the old subscribe button, whack the bell, set notifications to all, and give us a thumbs up on your way in or on your way out. It shows your appreciation of the channel for all the work that I do put in. Um, so this lawnmower hasn't had a service in about a season and a half. I have taken the air filter out, it was already, already dirty, I will show you that. Um, but it needs to have an oil change, spark plug done, blade sharp and balance, all that sort of good stuff. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's service this Honda HRX 476. Right, there it is, little old Honda HRX 476 in uh, lovely condition. As I say, it's not been serviced for about a season and a half. Uh, this was originally one of my mowers that I picked up, um, wasn't working oh, about two, three seasons ago, and sold it to my mate Luke, who's a professional lawn care guy and grass cutter. So it's coming today for a full service, um, and also the drive issue it had done um, earlier on today as well, which has now since been fixed. Um, so super happy with that. So up goes the old, uh, the old mower. Let's just lock that off so I don't fall on top of my head later on. And we'll have a skirt round. And then uh, we'll see what he's doing. So first thing you need to do, number one, is remove the HT lead. Just so that when you're working on these machines, there's no chance of it starting up and firing. I'm going to turn the fuel off as well. The air filter I've already removed. Uh, there's the air filter. That's what it looks like. It was a bit disgusting. Um, lots of stuff in there, so. That's no good. We've got a brand new air filter to go into there. I want to drain it all out, which is over the other side of the machine. I want to remove a spark plug. So let's get on to that now. Okay, so for whatever reason it is, I can't find my um, my big spark plug wrench. I don't know where that's gone. So I have to use the old uh, Halfords kit instead today, but it's weird. Um, it'll show up. I've used it recently, so. No idea, no idea. Let's have a look at the old plug. See what that's doing. Machine's been running absolutely bang on. Nice and lean. Element has still got a nice, nice, nice whitey colour to it, which is cool. That should be a uh, um, BR, um, BPR5ES. You can use 6ES as well. Uh, which is cool. So that'll be out, new one in. Um, happy with that. I'll bring the machine around slightly because now we want to um, look at doing the, uh, the oil. So we'll come on around to this side and the oil is here. Um, I don't expect that's been off for a while. So let's get a little rag just so we can see what it's doing. Got a rag here. See what we're doing. Yeah, oh, it's just a little bit overfilled. Nothing, uh, nothing massive. The oil is quite watery. Uh, where it hasn't had a service for a little while, um, so it does need a service. So what I do is, we'll uh, get my oil extraction pump out. So that goes into there. And we're just going to pump away until all the oil, you'll see the oil go down, there it goes. Starts to drain out the machine. Um, these are brilliant, these pumps. Um, I'm going to put a new pull cord on it, there's a bit of a nick up this top end. Um, because he's a professional lawn care guy, he does require a um, new pull cord. So whilst that's draining out, we're going to get the, um, the D-Walt with a 10mm um, socket. What have we got on there? 12, I think it has a 12. Let's get a 10 and we can undo these. Sometimes they come off all in one, which is great. Sometimes they don't. I want to cut the um, full cord as well. We're going to be putting a new one on. There goes the oil. Give that one more pump. Put the machine up because we want all that oil out. Tip it back slightly. 
we want the lot out of it. So let me get that done and I'll come back. Right, that's all we all out of that machine now. And now, unfortunately, we've got to uh, muck about with this pull cord assembly a little bit. Only because the uh, the bit that I want hasn't come off in uh, in one go, which is rather annoying. That's the bit I want. I might make it if I can spin it, possibly. And that that's locked onto it. It's kind of great. So that's all got to come off in one go. Fuel cap and go back on. I don't know it, no dirt getting into there. And underneath here is where this this pole's got to come off. So a pair of mole grips onto there or something just to try and uh, grip that up. I might even use a pair of plumbers um plumber stilts. They tend to grip quite well. You hear my voice not very happy about it. <laughs> I knew it would be that, that easy. Let's try that there. Try and knock that off. See if it come off. Mole grips and don't you don't you don't go above the threads because you don't want to be damaging these threads on these. This is what I'm trying to get to up here, you see. Let's try and lock that off. That's it. See how this goes. There it goes. We've got a oh, straight in the old pot, lovely. I couldn't have done that again if I tried. So that comes out and that goes onto a coil. I'll have to regap the coil now. I dare say it didn't move because the other one is uh, is tightened down, but uh, we'll have to just regap it just to make sure. We'll squeeze it down in a minute. All right, let's go and do this pull cord. Um, very simple, we do as before. Uh, give a bit of a clean up, a bit of a happy birthday, pull the cord all the way out, like so. Pull the cord out. Snip that bit off. Keep the tension on the uh, pull cord at all times. Take that out. And then we're going to thread this new bit of cord into there. We'll go one more rotation. No, it won't. So, a new bit of pull cord just in there, and I'll come back. Okay, so um, I regap the cord, put a nut back on, and now um, I'm just going to refit this um, this pull cord to the other end and get that knot out of there. Yeah. So, I'm going to just roughly guess where that's going to go. I'm going to go to there and come down about, about six or eight inches. I'm going to cut that off. Don't let go of that because that'll go for a burton. Keep holding cord at all times. Burn that off. <laughs> Just let let go of it. Burn that off. Just heat it up very quickly. And that goes up in there. Put a knot into that. So that's now, that's that now been done. Cut that off of there. And just give it a quick little burn just so it melts it together. And it just stops the, uh, the knots all fraying up. That's good to go. I'm going to disconnect my gas. I shouldn't need that anymore today. And get rid of that. That's nice and safe. And now we can um, bring that on up, loosen that 10 mil one off. It might go in there, we'll see. There it goes like that. And that's it in there. So that's now in place, correct amount of tension on there as always. 
I'll tip the lawnmower up on its side now and we'll do a blade sharpen balance. Right, so with the lawnmower now up on its side, we can now remove um, these blade bolts. And I think off the top of my head, they're about a 12. What's that? Uh, 14, bigger pump. Uh, these were loosened off previously um, in the other video. Well, so they were. That's on there. Lovely job. Right, so now we take the blade off. Two bolts. Let's have a little look to what our blade looks like. So with the lawnmower now down, um, we now look at the blade and the blade itself. Yeah, it's quite bad. It wants a whole new edge put on through there. That's uh, it's well well worn. I might even suggest we need a dozen new blade next next season. This should be all right for this season because we're about three quarters way through now. Um, but next season it'll be a new blade. So let me now just go and get me my flappy disc grinder, put this in a vise, get it sharpened up, get it balanced, and I'll come back and show you. Okay, blade's now done. Nice new edge put on here, doled off on the back. And also the same this side. I had to go take quite a bit off to be fair to get a new get a new edge onto that. Right, lawnmower is now up on its side, and we can now put this blade back on. It's all nice and clean down here. The belt was fine. I did check the belt in the previous video um, when I did uh, um, the drive on it. So that plate goes on there. Two bolts down there. And then literally just gonna kind of offer it to it down there and just loosely do them up. Loosey goosey. Get one started and then the other. Grab my D-wall and nick them up. One, two, happy with that. That looks good. And now we can now fill this machine up with oil. I use SEA 30. And don't forget, you want to um, only fill it up so when you put a dipstick in, you just let you put it in up as far as the threads and then you don't don't screw it in. Right, so to fill up the oil, um, I've got a nice oil um, filler um, funnel. Um, I use SEA 30, four stroke engine oil on all my engines that uh, require this type of fluid. Nice good shake up. These come in, in uh, 500 mil bottles, which is roughly what this machine takes. But I'm going to go 300 first and then um, top it up as required. So take the cap off, pierce the old, uh, the old lid, and I'm going to put in 300 mil first. Oh, a bit of spillage. Around 150 mil. About another hundred. That should do it. Let that run down. And we'll just want to grab the, um, the dipstick to it. Which I've got to hand. And just back that little mar up a smidge. So I'll get this stuff in it. So. I've got a dipstick and on these Hondas you don't screw in um, you don't screw in the, um, the dipstick, you just push it to it. Push it to, take it out. And it's gonna be, do you know what, it's nigh on bang on. I wanna go just a touch more, I think. Yeah, we're about three quarters. So I put another 100 mil in. It takes take us up to around about um, 400. I'm going to try that. The reason I use these is because these funnels on these Hondas that all go straight in doesn't come back on you when you're um, when you're filling it. So I quite like these funnels. Take it off, just hold that very gently, and then straight in and out. Yeah, it's just on the on the maximum mark. Absolutely, exactly where it wants to be. I will check it once we get a bit of a run, um, just to see whereabouts it is. But uh, it's absolutely bang on where we need it, which is cool. So the funnel can now be put away and so can the oil. And then I'm just gonna put a new spark plug in, gap it to spec, um, put that in, and then uh, we'll do the air filter. Okay, old spark plug, new spark plug. 
let's get it put in. Simply put it into the hole. Um, you should always do these when they're cold. Um, I wouldn't recommend you do them when um, they're hot. I'll keep that spark plug, let's throw that spark plug in. Keep the old spark plug, do we? Make sure it's uh, the right spark plug and uh, do it when it's cold, that way you won't cross thread it um, when you go to put it in. Let's nick that. Hasn't got to be tight, just quarter turn is, is more than enough, more than enough. If you can get quarter turn on it, you know what I mean? I'll leave that chili boot off for now on a bit of rag because um, a bit of all spillage. I should get a bit of the hose off anyway before it goes back. A bit of presentation. Um, and jet wash off all behind the uh, behind the um, the flap. Um, I'll come along my round now and we'll put the air filter in. Well, I've got a brand new air filter here, but before I put that in, um, you know, I took the old one out earlier. What I want to do, I want to double check, make sure this machine is choking. Because he did say that uh, it won't idle quite right. So I'm just wondering if in doubt, choke it. Yeah, that machine is not choking 110% where it could be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slacken this little screw off here and then we're going to adjust that ever so slightly. Because he said it was a, a little bit of a pickle to start, so the chances are the cable has just stretched ever so slightly. So we're now going to loosen this screw off very gently. This is set to choke up the top of the handle and now I'll pull this back even further. It's still not quite choking as much as it should do. There it goes. That's where it should be. Just there. Yeah, perfect. So now we're going to tighten that up just there. It was literally a hair's breadth, but that's enough. And you can see how much I have actually adjusted it by looking at this um, this cable. See here, a little tiny line just there. That's how much I have actually adjusted it. About four mil. Um, that's how much it, it wasn't actually choking. So what I'm going to do now is take it off a choke and hope this cable isn't going to slip. Which it doesn't. Back onto choke, and that's now fully choking. So it should start better um, now. What I also want to do is get a little bit of my um, carburetor uh, cleaning solution spray and just have a little clean up in here on this governor arm because none of that has been uh, cleaned for a season. And this may all be part of the reason why this machine actually isn't um, choking as it should do. I'll put a bit of WD-40 in there, a bit of water displacement fluid. And then I'm going to hit that with an air compressor in a bit. And also I'm going to spray right on top of the carburetor, right inside, best like on top rather, just to make sure all those areas are being greased up. I and mean, then I'm going to back that up in a bit once I compress it off with some three in one loop, just to make sure all these arms are doing exactly what they should be doing. And nothing's catching that that wasn't that was stiffer than that earlier on i'm hoping that might even pick up slightly that was stiffer i know it was right let's now put um the new air filter in because i want to put the air filter in before i blow it off of an air compressor obviously they just say that these tabs might be a little bit bent on here it doesn't seem to be it fell off once you said Yeah, I see. Yeah, it tends to uh, not catch on me. Let me bend them up slightly without snapping them off, as that's going to cost me another fiver. Might have put a bit of heat on those. That's better. That's got him. Okay, that's good. Um, so, what I want to do now um, is I'll take it outside, give it a run. Right, here's a Honda HRX 476. You may be getting a bit of wind interference because uh, it is very, very windy out, but uh, I don't have my mic, so uh, it is what it is. I do apologize. Let's now see on Kafiv's machine up, get it to work as it should do, and I'm also hoping it'll idle.
Okay, everybody, that's a Honda HRX 476 now up and running exactly how it should do. Um, it ticks over, it uh, runs flat out, it, it starts on choke, it cuts, it drives, the rotor clutch all works, does everything it should do. It's had a complete service, um, the belt didn't need doing. New pull cord, um, blade sharp and balanced. We'll want a new blade for next year, I would say. It looks a bit worn, uh, but it should get in through the season. New air filter, um, pull cord, it's all that good stuff. So, um, super, super happy. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mars, hit the subscribe button, ring your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told that one, I've done a video or two on my Saturday night um, live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Give us a thumbs up on your way out. It'd be much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take her easy.